Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the most popular topics from Eugene forum and provide you with the useful tutorials of Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Today we'll continue working with genome sequences with Eugene. Let's open a sample file of GeneBank format. Again, the file and its contents list have appeared in the objects area of current project view and the data from the file is shown in the sequence view area. The data consists of a sequence and annotations. We already know that a sequence view consists of a header, a sequence view area, a panoramic view, and a sequence details area. A header contains its sequence name and action toolbar. Panoramic view, or the overview here, is the topmost part of sequence view designed to provide flexible tools for navigation in large annotated sequence regions. We can zoom it with corresponding action toolbar buttons and select a part of the sequence by dragging the mouse cursor within its area. As we see, the selected area has also been represented in the sequence details area. The annotations are the many colored arrows with the text sorted by the lines. Each line shows annotations of a single type. Sequence details is an auxiliary view used to show sequence content at the maximum zoom level, thus making you see the text of a sequence. The sequence itself is shown between the amino translation strand, the top of the view, and the complement strand the bottom of the view. Each strand could be turned off by pressing corresponding action toolbar buttons. Let's turn the amino translation strand off. Now, let's turn the complement strand off. Original sequence and a scale are what's left in the view now. Turn the strands back on. We will discuss annotated sequences later in the podcast, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.